Hello, this is Bob the Astronomer. I'm, I'm making this video to show that I have now successfully been able to use my new Lempho LEMX smartwatch. It, uh, it, it is a telephone, under, uh, an entire telephone as well. So I'm going to show you more or less what I, how I got it to work. And I'm a little tired today. So this, I'm, I'm not going to be too coherent in the way I talk, but I think you'll get the general idea. This is my computer screen, the way it works, the way it looks when it's on. That is just my computer. And uh, it shows the icons and stuff that are available. What I'm going to do is zoom in just a little bit like that. That's better. And then I'm going to show you what happens. This is going to be a little bit clumsy, but I'm going to show you what happens. When I, I'll show you this device right here if I can find it. This is the device right there that crunches into the uh, smartwatch. It's, a, it's already plugged into the computer into the USB port. What I'm going to do is show you what happens to the watch when I whack that on. It'll whack right onto the back of it. Watch it go. There it goes. See now it's clicked right into the spot. Pretty soon you'll see the, you should see the smartwatch indicating that it's uh, recharging if it's in the right spot. But the magnet usually gets it just about right. There it goes. Now you'll see the icon crunching in a minute. Showing that it's actually recharging. Okay, now, I found that if the battery is absolutely at zero, that thing doesn't seem to come on and the watch won't come on until a little bit of battery charge goes in. So if the watch seems totally dead, if you buy one, it seems totally dead. That's probably the reason. It just needs a little battery power in it at first. So what I'm going to do is just kind of move this thing out of the way. Now I'm going to push this in. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm pushing this button on the side of the watch for four or five seconds, and it'll start the watch going. And you can see it actually start functioning. It takes four. There it goes. Now the watch is actually about 60 or 70 percent charged from when I did it earlier. And you'll actually see what happens. I'll, I won't say anything in a minute. I'll let you hear the sound of the watch crunching away. It's really neat. This is the watch turning on right now. Okay, there it's setting its time. The time is a little bit off because I let the watch go down to zero. I don't know what that means right there. Watch. There it goes anyway. Now this suddenly appears on the screen. And usually I just X this one out. Like this. That extra thing appears on the screen. Like that over top of the other one. What I usually do is take the mouse arrow and just X that off. It doesn't seem to me now. All of a sudden, you see there's an LEMX icon right there. It's a little blurry because I'm getting really close to the computer screen to look at that. But you can see it right there, the LEMX icon that is now appearing with the other icons right there. Okay. Now I'm going to leave that alone. What I'm going to do is uh, show you uh, the, the watch is off for a minute right now. Okay. Oops. I've shifted that around a little bit accidentally a little magnet thing so it makes it mess it up a little bit it's recharging right now off the computer okay what I'm gonna do is push this button first no I, I actually I don't need to do that I think I just need to uh, stroke this down a little bit hold on yeah, when the watch goes off for a few seconds all you do is just push that button right there that used to start the watch for about a second and it's it we, we enacts the screen now I'm gonna stroke this down gently if it'll work Oh, it doesn't seem to be working. There it is. Now, you'll see that the watch right there, hopefully you can read this, is reading 65% recharge right now. That's where it's 65% right there. That tells you how much battery power is in the thing. And uh, hold on now. See, it's turned off. You just touch this little button for a second. And then it starts it up again. And then you can scroll down and see all kinds of neat stuff right there. And then uh, scroll back that way. I don't know what this is right there. I just got the SIM card put in on Monday, and this is Thursday.
Okay now, I whack that over to this direction like so. There's the icons. What I'm going to do now is show you how I uh, load a photo into the computer. Whoops. This, re we this thing came on the screen again, so I'll just exit off. This is a very clumsy effort on my part. But nonetheless, you can sort of see it. There's the icons. Now, uh, first of all, what I have to do is this little icon that looks like a gear. I just touched that one. Like, like that. And I'll, all of us know there's connect. See the word connect right there? I just touched little, little, this little rascal right here. And uh, right now, I'm going to show you how to save, how I, a uh, 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 really nice technician at Lemfo IT uh, instructed me how to save battery power. It was losing battery power fast. He said, turn off the, the, uh, the GSP. So I'll show you how I did that. It's a little tricky to do it. There's a G GPS, pardon me, there's a GPS right there, the little icon. I just touched this. Suddenly the GPS appears. Now, you see, this is a GPS, and you see there's a little slider that goes from left to right there. So you can slide it back and forth, and that apparently turns the GPS on and off. I'll just touch this button again, it should bring it. See that little slider? All I would do is touch that little white spot with my finger at the top of the watch, just like that. And if I wanted the GPS on, I slide that to the right. If I want it off, I turn it to the left. Okay, now I just touch this button again. And that'll take it back uh, to where it was at before. Now I just uh, touch it one more time. And it'll take me back to the watch face. Okay, that's how you turn the G... And in my per for my purpose, I don't need the, G the GPS on all the time. Just once in a while in an emergency would I need it. So there's no use letting the watch band drain, watch battery drain unnecessarily. Okay, here it goes. Oops, let, uh, let it slip again. Okay, slide this over here. Okay, here's the uh, little gear thing again. What I do is I go to connect right here. Once more, I do connect. And then I touch the USB right here. Like that. Oops, not quite. This is not going to work as easy as I thought. Give it a try again. Something is just not right. There, no. There it is, USB. Okay, now. Transfer files right there. What I do is to transfer photos like this. Touch this little rascal right here. Oops, it got away on me. USB. Transfer photos, that's it. Once you touch that, it goes back there. And then if you go back there, you can see that it's gone back to transfer photos. Okay. So now you see the little blue dot there is right beside the word transfer photos. Okay. Now, it's, it's, there's a program that's crunching on my computer that I don't want there right now, although it will work. So I X that one out right there. I do, I've got, I, don't, I haven't connected it up properly. So I X that out. And then, uh, I think I can uh, do it some other way. I'll just, I don't think I need this one either. It Windows Explorer. Okay, so I X that, I X that one out right here. Now, there's a thing on the computer now called MIT device right there. MIT device. Now I double click that with a left thing. And there's a folder in there, internal shared storage, like this. There it goes. And then it's got pictures right there. It's got a DCIM and pictures right there. So I double left click that rascal. And it doesn't show what's going on there. So I must have messed up somehow. So I'll try the DCIM. And then it's got camera right there. Yep, so I, I did the wrong thing. I just had to go to camera. DCIM and then camera. So I double left click this rascal right here. Okay, now it's got the photos. Now I've got a photo written down that I want to transfer. Okay, the number is uh, 3545. So all I do is check down and see where 3545 is on these images. These are pictures I already took with the camera. Okay. So. 
3545 Sorry about this is going to be a little bit slow I can't find it right away what I'll do is just do 3544 because that's the one I can find in a hurry that I know is pretty good okay here it goes right here double left click that oh that's the wrong one sorry about that X that off I'll scroll down here I'm messing things up pretty badly there it is, 3545. Okay, right about here. Okay. As you can read, that's 3545. There it is right there. You can see the image on the computer screen that's in the camera right now. Okay. I'll just swoop down a little bit so you can see. That's my ancient station wagon on a winter day. I just wanted to try an exposure out in the open. Okay. And that's it right there okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back now you see this one right here what I do is I go over to edit right here the word edit and I uh, move to folder right here M move this image to a folder right there see after I click edit move to folder and then I have to choose which folder to use. And uh, what I do is uh, go to uh, my documents right here. And I already set up a folder. It's way down at the bottom. Here it is, watch folder, right there. Okay, watch folder. I clicked watch folder right there, right in my documents. And then I clicked the word move, right there. And it moves that out of there. Okay, now what I do is go back. Back, right here, back again. Okay, back once more. Get the mouse here on the right spot. Okay, back again. And here we are, owner's documents right here. And then I'll go to the watch folder right here. which is way down at the bottom most likely. There it is right there. Watch folder 2018. Double click that. And there's the photo right there. You can see it right there. I just transferred that photo right before your eyes into my computer. I'm not really adept at doing that very well. I double click that. And it'll appear on the screen. And that's just what you saw before. Right now that's stored in my computer and it's been removed from my watch. So also you could transfer music. Yeah, I can actually transfer photos into my watch. By the way, my car needs painting. I plan on doing that pretty soon. I can actually transfer photos that are in the computer back into the watch. And I can also transfer music into the watch. And I'll show you how I do that in the video in about a minute. So I'm going to cut this video off in a, in a few seconds. Just give you another look at this photo that's right inside my computer now and it's not in the watch anymore. I'm going to cut